Keanu Reeves is Evan Weber, a loving husband and father left to work in isolation to complete a big project. But when a pair of strikingly lovely girls come knocking at his door during a rainstorm, stranded and soaking wet, Evan's honor as a good man and father will be put to the ultimate test in Knock Knock. Hi, I'm Cinematico Magnifico of AmoralCrackpot.com, and welcome to the Nightly Chill. <laughs> Now, while many might argue that Eli Roth hasn't shown much promise as a director since 2005's Hostel, I don't think it could be denied that he has seemingly mastered his craft in the past 10 years after watching this movie. Dark, twisted, and gloriously uncomfortable in all the right ways, I would say that Knock Knock is horror not only done right, but nearly perfect. Now, what makes the movie work so well is the way that Reeves gives what is perhaps his best performance to date. His emotional choices come across on camera in such a visceral way that the dated, unfair notion that he's this one-note performer can finally be put to rest. In the earliest scenes, Reeves comes across as a man living in his ideal paradise with his loving wife and their two children. The loneliness and emptiness of his world when his family have left him is palpable and the constant raging internal struggle between his desire to protect his family and to indulge in his lust for two half-naked women fawning all over him, and really, it'd be hard to blame any healthy man for feeling that way, given how absolutely stunning Lorenza Izzo and Ana de Armas are in this movie. But there's just so much going on both behind Reese's eyes and on screen during these scenes that it makes for a performance that demands acknowledgement even if the movie were to end at the moment he finally submits to his very human weakness. Fortunately, the movie doesn't end here, and continues onward as Reeves' character is forced to behold the results of his momentary lapse in judgment, of his failure to resist an inhuman amount of temptation. His previous emotions are still all there, but quickly become corrupt. His love for his family and lust for these girls is twisted into self-loathing and seething rage set on consuming him whole. And even still, he continues to struggle with being a good man, a man pushed too far, and a man poisoned with the guilt all the way up until the final moments of this movie. Now, be it the fear of temptation, the fear of ramifications for giving into his urges, or even the fear for one's own well-being, Roth crafts and frames a movie that never eases up in even its few quiet moments. Knock Knock is a quick-paced movie, but never one that feels like it's rushing. Instead, it utilizes every single moment of screen time to its benefit. This is a movie that could easily have been two hours or more, but is so well done that it manages to be just as effective in only 99 minutes. The few brief quiet moments between intense sequences reflect Evan's state of mind at that point be it the loneliness he feels without his family, regretting disgust at his failures, or desperation to end his nightmare. So much information is communicated in seconds rather than minutes so as to maintain the pressure throughout the movie, and to give the audience a moment to finally catch their breath right before Roth takes it away yet again. And it's through this strong pacing that Roth masterfully plays with his audience's emotions. It's through the compelling performances Roth pulls out of his actors that adds so much more to these scenes. It's all of this that results in arguably the best horror experience I've come across in years. Not one predicated on cheap scares, blood, gore, or special effects, but an emotionally charged look at the darkest depths of the human soul. Now, Knock Knock isn't a perfect movie. There are a few moments where the performances get away from Roth and his cast. These are few and far between, and possibly, I'm not sure, but I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt, but I suspect the reason for these strange, out-of-place moments are the result of people creatively exploring how far they can take a scene and their performances in it. That said, it can come across as a bit silly to some degree, and might prove a bit of a deal-breaker for some viewers once they occur. Now with that said, despite a few minor imperfections, you would be hard-pressed to find an experience quite as effectively thrilling and terrifying as Knock Knock done in the last decade or even longer. So for those looking for a frightening good glimpse into all too real human depravity, I highly suggest that you seek out and chill with Knock Knock. That's going to do it for us tonight on the Nightly Chill. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow, and also be sure to leave me any questions, comments, suggestions for future reviews, and maybe even discuss today's movie at greater length. And as always, this video is brought to you in part by our viewers. If you'd like to learn how to support this and other projects, please visit amoralcrackpot.com or check the description below. But until next time, y'all need to make like a tree and get out of here.